five at five it's offer review and we have the blog post for today which was um not a lot of information in it, so we're gonna go over it right now uh there's gear and iso 8 update nothing really about teal and no information about war orbs no information about agatha release or madeline Pryor or the scourge event there's a lot of information on here no information of world teal orbs but what we did get is orange gear update uh, basically, uh, they're going to add more gear tier 14 and 50 mini uniques inside of the campaign nodes. So like if you're looking for a particular mini 14, typically there's only one node, which means you get like one a day. So they're going to double up on that so that you can get more than one a day, maybe two a day by farming different locations. Then the ultra store, which is the ultimate store, uh, they're going to include a higher ratio of mini uniques and uh that is in there now the problem with this is that it costs what ten thousand ultimus uh ex you know extra ultimus fragments or whatever like that i don't know anybody that does that and i i i still feel like this is still pretty expensive uh to buy the uh the orbs rather than just to uh, open up the ultimus fragments orbs and then maybe you'll get a new character out of that uh we'll have to see uh i'm unsure and then right here no no word on uh a teal gear and they really need to say something about the teal war orb because i know that they they know that we we want to know they have to know because i've brought it up other people brought it up they're just like like completely not talking about it orange elite war orb all quantities of orange gear orb will be updated with quantities of six so like i opened up uh one of those and it gave me three that would have been six now i opened up one it, that seems like a pretty good upgrade so it's you know maybe this is a trap they're trying to get us, to, try to get me to dump, you know, open up the war orb one so that when they do release the teal war orb, I won't have any currency. I don't, I'm just being, I don't know that. I don't know what they're doing. They're not saying. ISO 8 updates, they're going to add some extra slots for purchases. And then they're also in the daily objectives. They're going to give away uh, 10,000 of each ions, which over a month, uh, that actually like in the blue ions, like to take a character from blue to blue ISO three is like 370,000. It's under 400,000. So this basically will give you enough ions to upgrade one extra character a month ish, basically not quite. So that is a, then we've got Avengers tower. Avengers tower will be dropping on the seventh, which is going to be the same day as the Wong blitz so that was the blog post so we did get some information there but not a lot just tell us the truth the google play store at this point i've accepted and may never see the deals back in the google play but at the very least scopely should make it official and tell us so the ones holding onto points can convert them into something else simple response for someone over scopely on this matter would be appreciated yeah this ended at the first of the year and they did say something oh this will be back in like a week and that was two or three months ago now, I personally have my own thoughts on this. I think this is, there may be, uh, you know, maybe they're making too much money off of this and they don't want to encourage people to go to the Google Play Store. Maybe Scopely doesn't want anything to do with the Google Play Store. Or maybe Google is mad of the lost revenue that they're getting uh, because uh, Google uses, uh, you know, when you buy on the Google Play Store, they have a fee, which I've heard is as much as 30%. When you buy on the web store, that money goes right to Scopely. Maybe Google's massive at Scopely. Maybe Scopely doesn't want anything to do with the Google Play Store because they want you to come here. I don't know, but I'm 100% agree with this post that they need to say something because that's not great. Uh, let's talk about the insanity of Marvel Strike Force discount pricing. This was brought up in my chat, and I'm really glad that they made a post about this. And they're talking about this offer right here, which is $99, and it is 95% off. I feel that I am not, that anybody that can do the math on this and calculate that 95% off on a $100 offer is $2,000. Anybody that can do that math is not their target market. Anybody that actually questions the idea that somebody actually spent $2,000 on this is not their target market. They want stupid people just to buy this because otherwise they're just insulting us by calling this 95%. And I 100% agree with this part right here. Let's talk about the insanity of the discount pricing. It's trash. We're going to look at one today that says 89% off. I wish they'd just get rid of it. It's insulting at best. Uh, it's like they don't, they don't, they, I, it's just, they, they just like figured that we don't know, or we can't do math or we're stupid. We're just going to buy it anyways. That's the message they're sending to us for real. 
Anyways, it's trash. And then right here, give us a Teal War Orb. I already talked about that. Something. Something with Teal War Orb. I feel like I'm going to stuck on Cersei and not be able to get Cosmic for another month. It's just I'm never going to get the pieces I need. Uh, Teal War Orb is probably the solution. I need to find a way of getting minis other than just waiting in the war store and in the, the supply store. It takes forever, my goodness. Lastly, um, today is April 1st, you know, and I, I, I'm committed to not doing any April Fool's jokes today. Uh, but I want to say that this could be Photoshopped. This could be an April Fool's joke. Uh, or this could be blatant APK hacking. It could be. I don't know. But this is the reason why I, I, I do not want... Uh, scopely to force down our throats leaderboards. Leaderboards can be fun. Leaderboards are fun if it's fair. If there's no integrity and there's shenanigans like this possibly going on, I want nothing to do with leaderboards. This, I mean, there has to be some, if this is suspicious activity, why did, why did this happen? You think they would be able to automate this and, and calculate that, you know, in a war attack, Clearly, somebody can't punch up with the blue and teal, blue gear up against a 500,000 power team. You think that would trigger some sort of automation for review back at Scopely headquarters, and it would have been flagged. I hope so. Give us some confidence that the game is not being ruined. Like I said, this could be an April Fool's joke. I don't know. Let's move on. Small flex. But so this person right here, and I had several people in my chat say that they have entered into Dark Dimension 5 as free-to-play. So people that are free-to-play in this game have just started in Dark Dimension. So there you go. Then, uh, in three days, we have the Doctor Strange event campaign starting. Uh, and I just looked at the Doctor Strange event orbs, and there's actually good characters in there. I saw at least... Eight characters in there that are not going to be Ultimus food. This has been one of the... It's the the best orb I've seen on an event campaign character in a long time. If we think back to Dr. Voodoo. I think it had one character uh, that was useful to me. The orbs look great. Uh, it's going to be a new event. And this starts on, I believe, on the 4th, which I believe is Monday. It's going to be a little bit... There's going to be a heroic mode. And then here on last... Uh, this is a blog post from the, the 25th of last month kind of spells out the the suggestions and I level 68 to get into the, the heroic tier but as it escalates up to mission 9 it does they're suggesting the recommended level 85 gear tier 15 uh, ability level 6664 seven stars t1 iso 8 level 5 so that's green iso 5 and here are the unyielding characters so take a look at that uh, keep in mind that Phoenix is not really a good choice in these type of modes because if she goes into the Dark Phoenix mode, then you only get two stars. Uh, that's just unless you're there's a there's a way of getting around that with Beast and Friends, but it doesn't apply here. Uh, so uh, we'll find out how difficult this is actually going to be on Monday. We will see. Let's go into the web store. Uh, we've got the revolving carousel here uh, with some horrible orange gear offers. Horrible, horrible teal gear offer. And then they also added in uh, a Wong offer, which is also in game. So we're going to toggle over there and look at that. Uh, Protector Supreme, we've got five orbs right here. I value these orbs at $3 a piece. These are the ones that give a minimum six, average 9.3. And they do have an opportunity of giving 180, although that never really happens. So I value this at $15. Wong will be a blitz and he will start. Next Thursday will be the first Blitz uh, for him. He's a Blitz release character. So let's move on and see what. Now, this is the strangest offer I've seen in a long, long, long time. Uh, they should have just called this an Uru offer. Uh, we've had two characters, two important characters recently that need these uniques. And that would be, uh, what, Morbius and Cersei. And so I feel like what they're really selling, I, I almost feel like they would have sold more of these if they didn't show this. Ultimus at some point becomes um, laughable how many shards you get in uh, unneeded and he's not a good character. He's a terrible character, in fact. Very limited use on one team on defense and war sometimes. I'm not really even sure how good he is even there. Uh, but anyways, so 
uh, this really is an Uru offer. I'm not going to buy it. But anyways, uh, I just like, and also 89% off. Are they saying that somebody spent like 200 bucks on this? Who spent $200 on this? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. That's just my quick maths. Anyways, uh, destroyer of universes. I value these orbs at $3 a piece. So this is the same orb that we were talking about earlier with Wong. Plus right here, there is what an armory 14 doesn't quite add up to $10. He's going to be event campaign. Event campaign starts on Monday. Don't get the event campaign orbs mixed up with these orbs. These orbs average about 9.3. The event campaign orbs usually average about 5.4. Uh, and but those orbs are coming out on Monday. Well, actually, they're in the store now. They they also have good other characters in there. So if you're not pulling Doctor Strange on the side, that's not this orb, but the event campaign orbs. Great orbs. Got to give credit to where credit's due. Great orbs, Scorpio. I love those orbs. Let's go. Purple gear. No, no, no. Uh, this is um, this is ions. T. These are blue ions right here. There's 165 of them for fifteen dollars. Uh, here's the problem I have with that is that it needs almost 400,000 to get a character from up to blue ISO three. I think it's 370,000, something like that. This is barely enough to get halfway, a little over halfway for $15, 165 for $15. This is too pricey for me. Uh, but anyways, let's move on. Crack and snack. Um, I'm, I'm pretty far ahead. We're more than halfway through of the event, uh, with a cauldron event. And I believe as of today, they're recording this video to keep up with the event. You need about 49,000 uh, on the milestone points. And so that's where we're at. This will give you 480 cauldrons. And then the spending the 300 energy will give you another 300. But I'm not buying any of that. It seems like the event is relatively easy uh, with my three or four rotations a day. I'm not really struggling with the blitzing. I'm finding it easy myself. I hate blitzing. Uh, 480 cauldrons. And then you get the 300 ISO green energy. That pays two to one. So that's another 600 cauldrons right there again i'm not buying them but do what you got to do and there we've got 1200 cauldrons for ten dollars it's not a great deal there's typically uh easier ways of getting cauldrons through uh, green energy right there's green energy offers that'll give you more than 1200 for you know close to ten dollars we'll go over that further down if you are really interested in cauldrons uh right here pocket dimension pocket dimension big confusion on pocket dimension no official word on how long Pocket Dimension is, but the last Pocket Dimension was seven days long. And uh, it started on Monday, so it should be ending uh, before server reset on Monday. So if, you're, if you're, you're rushing through it, also keep in mind, after you finish your first run, there's a 24-hour cooldown before you can go into your second run. And so this is a cheaper way of refreshing characters if you're needing to refresh characters to get through Pocket Dimension. And then you also get... 500 milestone points towards the cauldron event. All right, let's skip over those. Those are always there. Uh, yucky, yucky gold gear offers. Not a fan. Pur no, purple and blue gear. No way. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. They've sold 300 for $10. I'm not even a fan of that offer, but this is worse of that. It's not even that great an offer. Uh, gold gear, bad. Uh, if you absolutely need SBCs, I suppose that's fine. But here's the deal. SBCs are more abundant than they were a year ago by a long shot. And most people are not needing purple gear. But do what you got to do. Again, like I was saying, if you're really looking for cauldrons, you can spend $15. And this will give you 1,000 green energy, which will give you 2,000 cauldrons. So uh, there was an offer up there for 10 bucks that gave, you know, what, uh, 1,200? Well, we're here. You got 2,000 for $15. Uh, and then you also get the, the ISOs and all that other stuff that comes along with spending the campaign, the green energy. Let's move on. Not a great deal. The rest of this is trash. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's worth considering, I suppose, but there's really nothing exciting here. Let's toggle over to the free-to-play account. And I don't like any of those offers down there. Um, not really, anyways. Uh, let's move. Let's look at the free-to-play account. And then we're going to skip through all of the duplicates. Again, Dragon Tooth Orb offer. This is $5. You get 80 shards. I found that the characters were really useful in there. Most of the characters that come out of that, there's three parts of it. 20, 40, 80. Uh, 20, 40, 20. Then the three columns. Uh, take a look at the orbs and the cauldron menu. You can see what this orb is. There's four orbs for this event. And I misspoke yesterday. You get all four orbs. I believe you have enough costume currency to buy both last year's Nick Fury and this year's Black Bolt. 
Well, uh, at least there's an extra amount. I don't know how much the Nick's Fury one is if you get all four orbs. So one orb is here for sale for $5. The other three orbs are available uh, by playing the game normally. One of them is in a milestone. One of them is in the event calendar. One of them is was uh, awarded in a daily login on the four-year anniversary. So uh, there you go. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. Both costumes. People are telling me they got both costumes, so that information is correct. Both costumes... Five bucks. You get the Nick Fury and which is last year's. Okay, so we're looking for offers here that are. Oh boy! All right, so we have a lot of Ask Guardian offers here. We got sixty Loki for ten dollars. Be more excited about this if it was five bucks. And then we got Sif, oh, unplayable almost. Heimdall unplayable. Loki is a very playable character. Uh, he's very he's synergy with uh, Cersei's amazing and giving her speed bar on spawn. It's great. So a lot of play with Loki right now, and there's Thor. Nothing exciting. I don't know if there's anything else. We're just going to scroll down to the bottom and see if there's anything else we're talking about. I think that'll do it uh, for today. Oh, this I didn't talk about this offer, but this offer is okay. Uh, I don't buy it because I don't really like premium orbs or the basic orbs anymore because it's Ultimus food. But we get uh, Red Star value that at a buck and a half. Some people value premium orbs at a dollar. Trading orb I value at a buck and a half. And a basic orbs probably worth about 90 cents. So relatively okay value for a buck call it a guppy snack and that'll do it all right let me know what you think in the comment section and as always thanks for watching keep on gaming